Hello, good evening. Hello. Hello, teacher. Hello, good evening. Hello, George. Good evening. Hello, Sarai. Good Hello. Night. Hello, everyone. Are you ready? Ready? Yes. Wilbert? Yes, I'm ready. How are you? How are you doing? Fine, fine, teacher. Thank you. Okay. Did you do anything exciting today? Did you do something exciting today? No, 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 no. Hello, Wilbert? No, I'm not teacher. I am the section and the uh, turn. Um, no, do you understand my question? Did you do anything exciting today? Do you understand my question? Not teacher. Hiciste algo emocionante ahora, algo interesante. Oh, sorry. No, teacher, only work <laughs> in my house. Ah, okay. Where do you work? Mm -hmm. I work in Giselle. Ah, okay. Okay, very good. Okay, very good. Are you working now? Uh, yes. ¿Estás trabajando ahorita? No, pero digo, en este momento estás ahí, en Digital. Yes. Ah, okay, okay. Yes. Okay, very good. Okay, very good. Ready? Okay. ¿Qué hicimos ayer? Le voy a dar eh, una presentación. All right. Eh, la, que, la que yo di ayer como de contenido de la clase. Um, let's, let's look at it to see if you remember. Okay, se llamaba past events and the past perfect. Past events and the past perfect, okay? Today we're going to practice the verb tenses, okay? Um, si ustedes notaron, esta, esta sección se, enf se enfocó, esta section four, I think, right? Focused on uh, simple past, past perfect, past perfect negative sentence statements, past perfect with questions, so, bastante past perfect, all right? So, I want to do a review and I want to show you. Okay? So, we're going to focus on that. Eh, esta es la presentación que di ayer. Okay? Remember? Solo para refrescar lo que hicimos, que les va a ayudar para ahora. Eh, the past event. Okay. When I have an event in the past, and then I have another event, I have to put it like this. I was cooking, I'm sorry, I cooked a wonderful meal that I had seen on TV. Okay, so Wilbert, what happened first? Cooking or cooked or seen on TV? What happened first? The first was that I had seen on TV. Yes, very good, yes. So I cooked a wonderful meal that I had seen on TV. Okay, so for example, ahí la cuatro, la cuatro de la tarde estaba viendo ahí, eh, flipping through the channels, como dicen. And then I found the cooking network. Ah, interesting, I want to see that. And then I found and I learned how to cook a wonderful meal. And then six o'clock, dinner time, I decided I'm going to cook. So, ¿qué pasó primero? Como dice Wilbur, right? I had seen on TV. Okay. Look at the next one. I was reading the book that I had bought at the airport. What happened first? Andrea, what happened first? What do you think happened? Uh, she bought the, the book. Yes, she bought the book at the airport first. Very good. Okay. Now, eh, quiero que noten, estoy usando dos estructuras. I am using simple past. Okay. Eh, no, simple past, no, eh, past continuous. 
past continuous, and I'm using past perfect. Okay. También puedo usar el simple, el simple past aquí, pero siempre tengo que usar el past perfect. Okay. Let's see. Let's go to the other example. Wait. Okay, I get. It. All right, next. Next example. I was talking on my cell phone when I realized I had dropped my wallet. Ernesto, what happened first? And first happened that uh, the wallet fell from the back. Yes. The yes, correct. Yeah, that's what happened first, right? You dropped the wallet and then, oh man, I realized. Right? Okay, next one. Uh, let's see. Alejandra, help me read it, the next one. I called my boat after I had eaten my meal. Yes, so what happened first? I had eaten my meal. Yes, correct, very good. I had eaten my meal. And then I decided hey, it's a good time to call my boss, okay? Very good, excellent. Next, uh, Ivan, help me read the next one. I paid for the ticket after I had woken up from my nap. Yes, I paid for the ticket that I had after I had woken up from my, my nap. Very good, excellent. The last one, hey, Ricardo, help us read. The next one. I ran as fast I, as I could when I had seen the bus leaving. Mm -hmm. Very good. So what happened first, Ricardo? Uh, first, I, 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 I saw the bus leaving, so I start running fast. Yeah. Yes, very good. So what happens first is the past perfect, right? Esta segunda yeah. parte ¿eh? de la oración. Yeah, very good. Okay. So, basically, that's what we did. Okay. So, ya nos da, esto nos da un buen, nos, nos da un buen eh, sentido de cómo usar el past perfect. Right. Now, but the problem is that the past perfect, uh, for example, I had bought a book at the airport. Y le voy a poner aquí, yesterday. Time expression. Sometimes in English, no es parte de la estructura y no tiene que estar, no, no, es, no es necesario, pero time, and pray, and time expressions help us. They help us understand. So, what do I have here? I have the past perfect. Okay. ¿Qué quiero decir con perfect? Cuando ustedes escuchan eso, perfect. Como perfecto, sin error. No. ¿Qué quiere decir? ¿Qué, qué piensan complete. ustedes? ¿Qué significa? Alguien dijo ahí, complete. Excellent. Very good. Yes. The perfect, en este sentido, significa complete. Okay? So, it's an action that started in the past and finished in the past, okay? Entonces, sé que la, 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 la acción se terminó, comenzó y terminó en el pasado. Yo sé que terminó, okay? For example, I played baseball, right? It, this is simple past, right? Sé cuándo terminó. ¿Sé cuándo yo dejé de jugar? ¿Dice la oración aquí? I play baseball. ¿Dice cuándo dejé de, jug no. de jugar? No, no dice, ¿verdad? Mm -hmm. Entonces, we don't know. We don't know. But the past perfect is, like you said, complete. Now, you have different type of sentences, right? En este tema de los verb tenses, Tú tienes que tener y saber manejar positive, 
¿Qué más? ¿Qué más tengo que saber manejar? Negative sentence. Right? So, how do I make this sentence? How do I make it negative? ¿Ah? ¿Cómo lo hago neg negativo? Ese mismo ejemplo que está ahí. ¿Cómo lo hago negativo? I have not. I have not bought a book at the airport. Okay. Now, sometimes we use contractions. Porque es un poquito más fácil. So, normally, you're going to use contractions. Aquí lo voy a dejar así, but just be aware. Normally, you have contractions. Now, another type of sentence is questions. ¿Cómo hago una pregunta con este, este past perfect? How can I do a question? Vamos a usar you. Okay. Porque no, no me voy a hacer la pregunta a mí mismo, sino que... Le voy a preguntar a otra persona. Usemos you. For example, when? Mm, yes. Sí, pero no quiero, no quiero usar WH todavía. Oh. Um, only, only... Yes or not. Yes, not. Yes or no questions. Uh-huh. Uh, do both. Uh, do both? Yes, very good. Had oh. you bought a book at the airport yesterday? Very good. Ahí está. Ah, tiene que terminar con pregunta. So this is a yes or no question, right? Yes or no question. So my answer is going to be yes, I did. No, I didn't. Okay. Or yes, I had. No, I had not. Okay. So positive, negative, and question. Right? En realidad, tú no has manejado el verb tense. Hasta que tú puedas hacer las tres. ¿Ok? Y hay una cuarta que sí es, existe, por si alguien es curioso y lo va a encontrar, que es questions en forma negativa. Pero ahorita no lo vamos a hacer. ¿Ok? Porque casi no se usa. <laughs> All right. So, let's focus on these three. All right. So, what I want you to do here is, you're going to work in groups. Eh, yo traté de mandarles este en Word so that you can open it and you can see it and you can write on it, ¿ok? Si no le funciona, entonces simplemente van a tener que hacer un cuadrito similar en Word, ¿ok? Ustedes. O si no, lo que pueden hacer es simplemente escribirla y después lo pasan a, a este tipo de cuadrito. ¿Ok? La cosa es que se... Que, que no, 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 no gasten mucho tiempo. Eso es lo que estaba tratando de hacer. También se los mandé en PDF, pero no sé si les va a funcionar para que ustedes puedan escribir allí. Pero si pueden abrir el Word Document, entonces hay una opción ahí que dice editar. Denle en editar y ya pueden empezar a escribir en el document. So, I want you to do this. How many verb tenses do we have in English? Twelve. We have twelve. Son doce. ¿Por qué son 12? ¿Lo pueden ver aquí? Can you see it? Simple past, simple present, simple future. ¿Cuántos van ahí? Three. <laughs> simple past, simple present, simple future. Right? Uh, present, past perfect, decimos. Present perfect, future perfect. Y así van sucesivamente. Y llego a los 12. ¿Ok? So, ¿Dónde están ustedes ahorita en la lección que vimos? ¿Qué vimos? ¿Qué acabamos de ver? ¿Se le olvidó? Past. No, past perfect. Yes. Past perfect. Correct. We saw, ahorita acabamos de ver el past perfect, right? So, very good. We saw past perfect. ¿Ok? And hicimos... Positive, negative, and questions. Okay? But, yo sé que ustedes son mucho más inteligentes. So, quiero que lo, lo completen. Okay? Now, este no lo han visto. Okay? Si pueden hacerlo, excelente. Si no, yo le puedo ayudar. Okay? But, 
Este ya lo vieron, este ya lo vieron, este ya lo vieron. Este, uh, 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 y este es bien fácil, porque aquí es had, aquí va a ser had. ¿Ok? Por lo menos yo sé que pueden llegar hasta acá. Y si pueden llegar hasta acá, you have an advanced English level. And I want you to do positive, negative, and questions. ¿Ok? Let's, let's work together. ¿Ok? Let's, let's take some time, let's do it together. ¿Ok? Um, si alguien quiere compartir su pantalla, right? después se lo pasa a los demás, usando Word, como quieran hacerlo. Okay. Let me see. Ok. Let's go to the groups. Sarair, if you can go to the group, please. Okay, very good. So, group number one. ¿Cómo van a trabajar? We're waiting for Wilbur. Ah, Wilbur, thank you. Excellent, Wilbur. So, remember, les voy a dar un tip. Eh, bueno, eh, solo recordarles. Tienen que usar los auxiliary verbs. Do and did. Okay, so remember. Okay. So in the simple past, in positive, I saw a movie yesterday. But sorry, I watched something perfect. Mm, what? What? Repeat, Alejandra. Eh, vamos a trabajar solo en el tiempo, en el past perfect, ¿verdad? No, eh, complete it. En todo. Ya, yeah, ah. try to complete it, porque ese ya es un repaso. Ustedes ya, ya vieron bastante de esto, ¿verdad? ¿no? Simple past. So, so ah, try, okay. to, try to do it as much okay. as you can. Ok. So I said, I watched I watch a movie yesterday. Ok, ok, very good. I watched, right? Repeat this. Yeah, I watched a movie yesterday. Watched, watch in past. Uh, in past. Remember, past, Wilbert. ED. ED. Mm -hmm. Fine. In negative? Fine. Uh, I didn't. Mm -hmm, I didn't. Yes, I didn't mm -hmm. yes, you have to use the auxiliary verb, correct? And quality. I didn't play. I didn't play yesterday. In negative. Uh -huh. I didn't. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Solo que ahí te falta una T, ¿verdad? Este, en el, en el watched. Wilbur. T. Ok. Yeah, eh, Alejandra, you're correct. You have to use I didn't. Uh -huh. Correct. 
correct. You have to use I didn't. Yes, I didn't. I didn't play. Okay. Si, y si quieren usa el mismo ejemplo de watched para que para que no se complique mucho. I didn't watch. I didn't watch a movie yesterday. Yeah. Yeah, very good. Can you hear me? Uh, yes. Okay, sorry, I have trouble from my connection. Okay. I, I didn't. Will be. I, I didn't. No, I didn't. I didn't. I did. Uh huh. I did not. But I didn't watch a, mo a movie yesterday. Right. The interrogative. Did I? Did I watch a movie yesterday? Mm -hmm. The question will be with the verb, with the auxiliary verb, right? Mm -hmm. Did I? Mm -hmm. Solo que allí te estarías hablando a ti misma o preguntando a ti misma. You can change it. Maybe you can say, did you? Did you? Mm -hmm. Did you? I have. Uh, okay, no, yeah, I have. I, sorry? No, it's okay, I have. Okay. Play the guitar. Okay, perfect. And present. I have, I have played the guitar. Play with ED. I have not. I have not. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I haven't. I haven't. Okay, future. I will have. Um. The um right I think it's okay I would have play like this yes Will I have? No, will have I? <laughs> will have I? Is the will I? Will that? I have? Will I yeah. have? Will I have? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, in la, in la, casi en todas las que tienen, they have it. Do you? Do you? No, en esta uh, perfect, uh, se estarían preguntando ustedes mismos. Se estarían haciendo la pregunta a ustedes mismos. Have I played the guitar? Have I played the guitar? So maybe you can use another subject. Maybe you can use you. Okay. Now, otra cosa. Remember that when you're using the perfect, you have to use what? What type of verb? Have. What type of... What type of verb? Huh? See, had, had is an auxiliary verb. 
que vamos a usar, pero ¿qué tipo de verbo uso? Past participle. Past participle. Correct. Very good. Now, played es un verbo, es un verbo regular. Entonces, el past participle um, no cambia. Pero, ¿qué pasa si yo quiero usar, por ejemplo, see, saw, seen? Okay. Go, went. ¿Cuál es el past participle? Of go. Entonces, no, no están usando los past participles. Eh, ¿Se acuerdan el cuadrito que le mandé ayer? Con la lista de past participles. Ok, traten de usar uno de esos. Okay. Past participles. Uh -huh. And then you can change the subject for the, okay. for the question. Ok. All right. Do I, or do you? Or do you play soccer? <laughs> do you play? Will, Will you play soccer? Play soccer. Tomorrow? Or only? Yes. Yes, I think that that's that's fine. Would you play soccer? Okay. Continuous progressive. Continuous. I. I am. Um, I was, I was playing. playing soccer. Playing soccer. <laughs> And negative, I was not. I wasn't playing. Question? Do you was playing? Do you was playing? Or do you were? Mm. Do you, I don't know if this was know. a word. Do you what, was, what? do you work? No, come on. Do you do you come on, <laughs> this is, this is basic. No, how do you do it? You use, now, here you have to use another subject. You have to use you. Porque no te vas a preguntar a ti mismo. I mean, honestly. So you have to use the subject you. Okay, le vas a preguntar, a, es, eso se lo vas a preguntar a otra persona. Now, were you when, playing soccer? Yes, that's correct. Were you playing, were you playing right? soccer? Were you playing soccer? Correct. Playing soccer? Mm-hmm. Playing soccer? Okay. An example. Este es el que no hemos visto. Uh -huh. Okay. Antes que, que continúen con el Perdón, lo sube. Lo voy a poner en mi solo un segundo. Okay. Eh, antes que continúen con el perfect continuous, eh, solo, mm -hmm. solo notar que en el perfect, mm -hmm. uh, you have to use what type of verb? Um, participle. El past participle, right? Yeah. Very good. So, play está bien, pero simplemente es un eh, regular verb. Okay. okay. Now, Do you want eh, that we use any regular? Ajá. Normalmente vamos a usar un irregular verb. For example, you can use see, saw. ¿Cuál es el past participle? Seen. 
Sí. Or maybe go, went, go. gone. Uh -huh. Okay. Pues, normally, because, le, le digo porque casi todo lo que son regular, son bien fácil. Okay. Simplemente le ponemos ed. Okay. Pero lo que, donde nos confundimos, is with the past participles. So, use one. Mm -hmm. Yes, very good. Maybe I have the uh, the participle of run, of run is run, run mm -hmm. like R A N. R A N, uh huh. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Let me see. Is it like that? I just want to see Remember the one that I sent yesterday? I want to see. Let me see. Just, I want to make sure that I am correct. Eh, so, we have here eh, RS Está eh, en el otro. Le mandé dos, perdón, dos cuadritos. Ah, está en el, en el primero. Es el último. Run con una U uh -huh. es base form. Uh -huh. Ran con una A, A uh -huh. in English, es simple past. En okay. past participle uh -huh. se escribe como el base verb. Uh, Oh. <laughs> se, que se escribe con una U. Ok. Ah, ok. Then maybe we can use another. Um, like, drink. Ajá, entonces sería drink. I drunk. Drink. And drunk. Mm -hmm. Drunk. Um, I don't remember. Drunk is the participle, right? Ajá, uh -huh. with U. Mm -hmm. No, with a U. Okay, drunk. Uh -huh, ahí está. That's the past participle. Mm -hmm. I will be I will be um, I will be what are you going to do next week I will be playing baseball example I will be playing Uh -huh. Después viene el ING, right? I will be, and then you can use ING. Eh, aquí hay varias formas. Pueden usar going to, or you can use will be in ING. Es como I'm going, I'm going to play. Eh, hay, hay varias formas. Si usamos el going. Ah, sí, si, si usa going to, eh, I, I am going to play. Mm -hmm. What are you going to do tomorrow? I am going to play baseball. I am going to play. Playing. No, no. En este no, caso play. ya usé play. Ya usé play. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm going to play baseball. Mm -hmm. Baseball. Okay, very good. Le falta el perfect. Okay. El otro grupo ya, ya está en el, en el último. <laughs> so, go ahead, do it. Come on. She will have been crying for two hours.
she will have she wants she wants she will not have been trying yeah she won't have she won't will and they put a uh, the 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 pronoun and they have and then have will okay. they have and we put will you have so okay. i think that that's correct. It's correct yeah okay Teacher Carlos, can you can you check, please? We have like uh, mm -hmm. some some question uh, about teacher. the structure in the future, a uh, perfect and question. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Sí, empieza con will you have broken the guitar? Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's correct. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. Now, para qué uso esto? For example, um, if I tell someone. Uh, Will you have finished painting the house? Es, es decir, eh, si le digo algo a alguien, eh, si te paso a recoger mañana, no, si te paso a recoger en tres días, will you have finished the house? Will you have finished painting the house? Will you have painted the house? Son formas de decir lo mismo, ¿verdad? Will you have painted the house? Es como decir, decir, en el futuro, ¿ya vas a completar esta acción? Okay. Ajá. Uh -huh. Yeah, it's a little difficult. Casi no se usa, you know, because it's just a little, a little confusing, you know, but, but um, you know, como pronto, eh, ¿sabes cuándo se usa? Cuando alguien va, como vas a, a dar una, un pronóstico. De algo. Vas a dar una profecía. <laughs> ok. <laughs> yeah. All right, very good. You guys are finished? Ok. Yeah. Put your name on the, on the sheet. Put the name, your name on it. Y lo que pueden hacer es tomar una, una screenshot o si quieren cortarlo y pegarlo como picture o si quieren mandarlo como, como documento, like download it. So, okay. put your names, you guys. Okay. In the present, uh, I, ha I have I have tried sushi. Sorry, sorry, I have um, tried. No, um, I, E, D, en lugar de la Y. Now, I recommend here that you look at the table that I sent. Okay. Eh, ¿Se acuerdan en la tablita que mandé de todos los past participles? The list that I sent yesterday. You can use that. And you can use one of the past participles there. For example, drink. Drank, drunk, see, saw, seen, and you can use. I have, I had a done, done. Mm -hmm. You can use done. Mm -hmm. Okay, when you're finished, eh, ya vamos a terminar. Si quieren, empiecen a poner sus nombres ahí en, en, en el cuadro. Y si ven en el WhatsApp, algunos grupos ya lo mandaron. Si, si quieren tomar una screenshot. Okay. Or cut it, cut it there, and put your names on it and send it, okay? Wilbert, okay. go ahead, because we're almost finished, okay? You have not been sleeping tomorrow. 
Ok, eh, ya vamos a terminar. Si quieren, pongan sus nombres en algún lugar okay. ahí por la esquinita. Y lo que pueden hacer okay. es cortarlo. Si ven en WhatsApp, algunos grupos ya lo mandaron. Ah, un screenshot. Ah, you can do a screenshot, o si no, puedes cortarlo. Así como recorte. Okay. You can paste it like a picture. Okay. ok, go ahead, do it. Ok. We're almost finished. Ok. Okay, very good. Uh, we have like 10 minutes left. What you can do is uh, los grupos que, que faltan, tómenle una screenshot or maybe take a, un recorte, así, and picture, and, take, and send it to WhatsApp. Uh, you can put your names of the people that, that were in your group. You can put their names there. Okay. Very good. And lo que hacen eso, okay? I want to share my computer with you, okay? And I want to do an exercise here. Let's do an exercise here of the perf. Well, first, let's look at these examples. Okay, I have some examples here for the. Aquí está. Past perfect. Just some examples that you can use, okay? Se lo voy a mandar para que lo puedan estudiar. Son el diferente tipo de, de ejemplos que puede hacer con el past perfect, ¿ok? Eh, en qué situaciones lo puedo usar, etc. ¿Ok? For example, you can show, uh, you can use the past perfect to show an action that happened before something else in the past. For example, este lo que hicimos en, este, en esta lección, en esta sección 4. She stayed up all night because she had received bad news. Remember, esta es el mismo, la misma presentación que les, que les mostré al inicio de la clase ahora y ayer. Simple past and then past perfect. They lost many of the games because they had not practiced enough. Simple past and then past perfect. Anthony had met Ryan before you introduced him to us in the party. Simple past here and past perfect. You had studied Italian before you moved to Rome. Simple past, past perfect. Okay, so para que se usa eso? To show that an action happened before something else. Okay, now let's see if we can do this. Uh, le voy a mandar este ahorita por WhatsApp, okay? Um, lo que pueden hacer en esta hoja es escribir directamente aquí. No tienen que descargar nada, sino que escribir en la hoja aquí. And you can finish this. Uh, it says complete the sentences with the verbs in the brackets. Use the past perfect or the simple past. Uh, so this is going to be a little difficult. Okay. En algunos casos va a ser past perfect. Remember, if you use past perfect, you have to have had. Or you can use simple past. All right. So let me send it to you. Okay. Sigan el link and what's up. Okay. Mm, de hecho, saben qué? Porque para que no nos vayamos a grupo, let's uh, you help me. 
porque me acabo de dar cuenta que no, tenemos, no vamos a tener suficiente tiempo. You ready? Help me. Vean mi pantalla. And you give me the answer. Denise Logan is a singer. So far, she had me. Uh, ¿Dónde está? Ah, no, pero es que, let me see. Use the... She had made. She had made. So far, she had made. No, so far is hasta ahora. So far, she has made. Simple past. Simple okay. past. She blank her first record in 2015. She recorded. Uh, but we have to use this verb. Made. Made. She had. Simple. So far, she has made. She made. She made. Okay. All right. Let's continue. Ya vamos a revisar. Until 2006, she has lived. We're using. Ah, no, no, pero aquí, this is my mistake. This is the present perfect. Ah, pues sí. Okay, so I have to add have. In this, in this case, we're going to use has. It's have. Yeah. He has lived in Liverpool. But since she, may, she became famous, she... Simple past? She lived. Lived. All right, very good. She, number three, who wants to help me? She blank two concert tours last year. She has done. Remember? Past participle. What is it? Past participle that do? Done. Done. She has done two concert tours last. No, no, she has done. Mm -mm. She. ¿Qué creen ustedes? Help me. <laughs> she did. She did. But she. She, she did. did two concert tours last year. But she. Has done. Oh, hasn't done. Está en negativo. Hasn't done. Yeah? You think? What do you think? Yeah. I agree. It's it's not. Okay, like that. Her parents. Mm -hmm. So I have to use C. What is the pass of C? And simple pass is so. so. What is the so. past participle? Seen. Seen. So. Seen. Mm -hmm. Her parents saw her. Oh, her. Hasn't. I know. Haven't. Por qué haven't? Because I'm speaking about parents. No sé por qué me sale así. No tengo el apostrophe correct. Okay. She, her parents haven't seen her for over a year now. However, her brother saw her, saw her in New York last month. Yes. Very good. Very good. You guys are good. Number five. When she first started, she blank with a band called Fabulous. She sang. 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 What is the past part? Uh, no, the simple past of sing. Sang. Sang. Do you remember? Sang. 
Eh, sen, ajá, pero con una A o una U. Uh, the symbol plus is with the A. Yes, very good. She sang with a band called Fabulous, but she hasn't hasn't with the U. Song with the U. Uh -huh, that's the past participle. Ah, very good. Uh, this exercise is a little difficult, but it's good. Advance. Denise blank a lot of songs too. Denise. Mm -hmm. What is the pass of right? It wrote. Wrote. A lot of songs too. She has. What is the past participle of right? Written. 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 Yes. Very good. Okay, very good. Let's see. Okay, very good. Let's see. Creo que podemos revisar. Ah, no, there's another section. There's another section. Ah, yo pensé que podía revisar una sección a la vez. Creo que no, let me see. No sé si no da la respuesta. Yeah. Let's see, le voy a dar finish. No sé si me va. Check answers. Let me see. A ver si nos da solamente las que vimos. Man. <laughs> what happened? Oh my God. So, so far she has she made. made. She made. No, this is correct, right? Until 2016, she? I guess in this one, it was a live in the first one and has lived in the second one. Yeah. Aha, uh -huh. al revés, right? Backwards. Man, this was difficult. <laughs> no, pero, pero es que esta, esta la escribí mal yo. Yeah, it's because the apostrophe, it's before the end. Ah, uh -huh. por eso no me, lo, no me lo agarraba. Okay. Denise wrote. Has, br has bro bro brought him. Has, has wrote a lot of songs. She wrote. Has written. has written. Written. She has written a lot of songs too. She wrote her first song when she was still. Mm -hmm. in school. Uh, it's backwards okay. too. It's backwards. It's backwards. Okay. Man, entonces le dejo este examen. That is difficult. <laughs> <laughs> Man, this is difficult. Write sentences about your okay. life with these expressions. You have to write about your life. All right, very good. ¿Cómo hicieron con los exercises? You guys did the, the squares? I think we had some really good ones. No sé cuál, quién es este grupo? Uh, Alex, Pablo, and Eric. Very good. Yeah. You, did, you guys did very good. Okay. Let me see, uh, perfect. Had studied, very good. Have studied, very good. And this was difficult, right? The perfect continuous. Yeah. Encontraron cuál es la clave? Had been, has been. And then ing, right? Yes. Okay, very good. Oh, you, you guys did very good. Let's see, the other group? King uh, Mas. Another group here? No sé si voy a poder bien. Lo veo un poquito así, duroso, pero. George, Ernest, and Andrea. Okay, very good. Let's see the, the past perfect. Had broken, hadn't broken, had, had you broken the guitar? Okay, very good. And have broken, have you broken the guitar? Uh-huh, very good. And then what else? Had been breaking. Mm -hmm. Solo que I no creo que se escribe así. Breaking, check the spelling, but it's correct. Okay. In the simple past and continuous, creo que ahí no tenemos problema, right? You guys 
Very good. ¿Alguien tuvo problema ahí con el simple past? El uso de, del verb did and do. You have to use did and do, right? Tienen que usar los yeah. auxiliares, ¿verdad? For example, here, very good. I, I watched the movie. I didn't watch the movie. Did you watch the movie yesterday? Very good. So, este es el, el verbo auxiliar eh, did, right? We use it for, también for uh, yes sir, to answer questions, right? So, yo voy a responder aquí. Did you watch the movie? Yes, I did. No, I didn't. Okay, and then we use do, which is the simple, uh, simple, the simple present, auxiliary verb. Very good. Eh, recuerden que eh, continuous, el future continuous, eh, ¿cuál, ¿cómo eran las diferentes formas que lo podemos usar? Aquí hay una. Solo que tengo que se le olvidó el verb to be. I am going to play baseball. Mm -hmm. And, ¿Cuál otra forma dijimos que se puede usar? Will. Will. Mm -hmm. So, usando will, ¿cómo sería? To talk about future. For example, what will, what will you be doing tomorrow? What are you going to do tomorrow? I will be... Uh -huh. I will be working. What are you going to do tomorrow? I will be playing. I will be cooking. Or you can say, I'm going to cook. I'm going to go to work. Okay, very good. So remember, hay dos formas que se, ustedes pueden usar el future, future continuous. All right, excellent, good job. Uh, questions over, for this exercise? No? Just to practice, right? Just to be able to put it all together, okay? Uh, ¿Cuánto tiempo tienen estudiando? Algunos de ustedes aquí. Hmm? Alex? Yes, sir. Uh, yes, sir. Uh, ¿Cuánto tiempo tienes estudiando? Como dos meses, teacher. Wilbert, dos meses. Yeah. Y, y el resto del grupo aquí que está en este en el, que ha estado aquí antes how long have you been studying first english course that i take in my whole life okay andrea and how did you learn english what how, what did you do to to um, I learn at least the basic movies and movies and sometimes i read books mm -hmm. but uh, in school i learned a little bit Okay, all right. Okay. And Alejandra, what about you? How long have you been studying English? Uh, like uh, nine months. Okay, here uh, in this? Uh, no, uh, E4CC. Okay, okay, good, good. Uh, did, you, did you learn grammar, a lot of grammar there? Uh, actually, yes. Um, okay. It's very good. Okay, yeah, so it's a good academy. And what else? <clears throat> Is, uh, Carlos, how long have you been studying? This is my first time. Uh, this is your first course? Yes. Okay. Yes, this is my first course since when I was in, in college a long, long time ago. Ah, okay. Uh, but uh, have you practiced like yourself or have you? Study yes, yourself. I, I have been practicing then, but it's not so so often. So, mm -hmm. okay. This is... uh, Pablo, what about you? Okay, um, I started with the English around uh, um, three years ago, I think, but mm -hmm. I I couldn't continue in those moments. Okay. Uh, then I started again around a year and a half. Mm -hmm. I was studying, I believe, for a year. Then I had an, a motorcycle accident. And I started again here um, three months ago, I think. Mm -hmm. I, I went to Perlingua. 
Ah, okay. Means a four, means a four courses, and then this course in the past one uh, month ago. Okay. Okay. Excellent. What about you, Eric? Yeah, I have been studying English like two years and a half ago, mm -hmm. and I was in different academies. Okay, excellent. Well, eh, les pregunto para, para que vean que en realidad todos estamos en diferentes niveles y todos tenemos diferentes experiencias. Okay, and, and, and that's good. Okay, and then you can you can learn from each other. Okay, so siempre si ustedes quieren tener alguien con quien practicar and talk to a partner and say, hey, you know, do you want to practice? You you can always do that. Okay, alguien me está diciendo que tiene un amigo in 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 England and they practice English together. Okay, uh, or someone's telling me oh, I have a friend in the in the United States or a family member and I practice English together. Okay. So, algunos primera vez solo tienen tres semanas estudiando y, y otros tienen tres años. Eh, y en, en realidad el tiempo no importa. Right? I mean, here is what you want to learn, how much you want to learn. Okay, so I encourage you. Ese, examen, ese cuadrito que ustedes llenaron, que casi todo el grupo lo llenó, ese es un examen para ser maestro de inglés. And you guys did it. Lo hicieron muy bien, todos. So, you know, you should feel good about yourself, okay? Feel good. Because yo estuve en una, en una, en una academia, me dieron esa, ese examen, ese cuadrito. Lo tenía que llenar completo. Y habían 20 maestros de inglés. Y creo que solamente... Cuatro, cinco, lo llenaron. <laughs> lo pudieron llenar. So, you guys did very, very good. Y siéntase contento, satisfecho, that you guys can do it, okay? So, el tiempo no importa. La experiencia, you know, no importa. Yo estoy en Estados Unidos. Usted, eso no importa, okay? So, do it, do it, you know, continue. Continue doing it and learn and go explore more if you can. ¿Quién ha visto los, los, la página de pronunciation que les mandé? El canal de YouTube donde hay solamente ejercicios de pronunciation. ¿Quién ha, quién, quién, quién ha ido allí? Eh, Tomen ventaja. Es una free resource that is there. Yo lo he usado para cursos curso de call center. Yo lo he usado. Ok. So, practice there. You have that pronunciation resource there. Okay, very good. So I'll see you next next week, Monday. Finish section four. Remember, section five. Section five, en realidad tiene dos secciones. Tiene la normal section, and then you have the test. And the test is, is kind of long. Si ven ahí, es un poquito largo. Okay? Yes. So, I mean, les tomaría, si se sienta en una sentada, les va a tomar como dos horas. So I mean, you know, eh, take your time, but try to try to be ahead, okay? So in the weekend, you can work, you can do todos los recursos que les he mandado. You guys can practice, okay? All right. So if you have any questions, you can tell me, okay? All right. So I'll see you Monday, okay? You can start working on section five, and you can start working on the test if you want the final test, okay? okay? Y creo que esta semana también eh, le van a estar pidiendo documentación. No sé si ya les ha mandado algún correo pidiéndole documentación para el próximo curso. Yes. No. Algunos sí, otros no. No, no. No. Está bien, no. Okay. Eh, creo voy a no. voy a preguntar, no, no. pero estén pendientes porque le van a le van a pedir tal vez alguna verificar alguna docu documentación, llenar algún formulario lo que sea, ok? So, estén pendiente para, para esa información, ok? All right, very good. So, I'll see you, I'll see you Monday, ok? Thank see you. you. Ok, thank you, good thank night. You.
Okay. Have a good night. All right. Bye.